What's up, Voyagers? Today we're getting you set up with internet identity. This is an important first step for using CKBTC, and it acts as your Web3 passport for logging into social platforms. Let's dive in. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the internet identity website, which we'll have linked below. Then we're gonna go to create a new account. Your first step is gonna be to create a pass key. You can use a mobile device or a security key and sometimes a biometric scan, depending on what device you're on. If you're using a mobile device, you may have to turn on Bluetooth, just FYI. And then once your device is connected, your pass key has been saved, you will complete a CAPTCHA. Once you've completed the CAPTCHA, you will get your internet identity number. Now it's very important to save that number. And then the next step we're gonna do is get your recovery phrase. It's really important to back this up and don't share it with anyone because this is literally the keys to your bank. To safely store your recovery phrase, I recommend getting out a pad of paper and recording down one through 24 and your internet identity number uh, so you have this safely stored and not on tech devices that could potentially be susceptible to a hack. If you do lose your device, you will be able to restore your account through using these recovery words. Now, when you have your recovery phrase, confirm your recovery phrase. So it's gonna put you through a series of steps where you need to put your internet identity number and then several words in that recovery phrase out of the 24 words. All right, Voyagers, that was simple. Now you're set up with your internet identity. So if you do have any additional questions, make sure you drop those in the comments below. Make sure you're checking out our other videos of what you can all do with your internet identity. Thank you very much for tuning into this video and we'll see you around.